terrestrial ecosystems among the terrestrial ecosystems first we will be taking the forest ecosystem forests occupy roughly 40% of the land in india the forests occupy roughly 1/10th of the total land area different components of a forest ecosystem like others are as follows types of forest ecosystem depending upon the climate conditions forests can be classified into following types tropical rain forests tropical deciduous forests tropical scrub forests temperate rain forests and temperate deciduous forests these are the features of the different types of forests forests are characterized by warm temperature and adequate rainfall which make the generation of number of ponds lakes etc the forests maintain climate and rainfall the forests support many wild animals and protect biodiversity the soil is rich in organic matter and nutrients which support the growth of trees since penetration of light is so poor the conversion of organic matter into nutrients is very fast the abiotic components these are the inorganic as well as organic substances present in the soil and atmosphere in addition to the minerals present in forests we find the dead organic debris the litter accumulation chiefly in temperate climate moreover the light conditions are different due to complex stratification in the plant communities the biotic component the living organisms present in the food chain occur in the following order producers these are mainly trees that show much species diversity and greater degree of stratification especially in tropical moist deciduous forests the trees are of different kinds depending upon the kind of forest formation developing in that climate besides trees there are also present shrubs and a ground vegetation in these forests the dominant members of flora the producers are such trees as tectona grandis butea frondosa shoria robusta lagestromia parviflora in temperate coniferous forests shrubs and ground flora are insignificant in temperate deciduous forests the dominant trees are species of quercus acer betula thuja pisia etc whereas in temperate coniferous forests the producer trees are species of abies pisia pinus cedrus juniperus rhododendron etc now coming to consumers these are as follows the primary consumers these are the herbivores that include the animals feeding on tree leaves as ants flies beetles leaf hoppers bugs spiders etc and larger animals grazing on shoots and fruits of the producers the elephants nilgai deer moles squirrels shrews flying foxes fruit bats mongooses etc the secondary consumers these are the carnivores like snakes birds lizards fox etc feeding on the herbivores then comes the tertiary consumers these are the top carnivores like lion tiger etc that eat carnivores of secondary consumer level then 
comes the decomposers these are wide variety of microorganisms including fungi such as species of aspergillus polyporus fusarium alternaria trichoderma etc then bacteria like species of bacillus clostridium pseudomonas angiococcus etc and actinomycetes like species of streptomyces etc rate of decomposition in tropical and subtropical forests is more rapid than that in the temperate ones here we can see the food chain existing in a temperate deciduous forest this is an illustration showing a food web in a forest then comes the grassland ecosystem grasslands occupy comparatively a fewer area roughly 19 to 20% of our surface the various components of a grassland ecosystem are as follows the types of grassland ecosystems depending upon the climate conditions grasslands can be classified into three types tropical grasslands temperate grasslands and polar grasslands grassland ecosystem is a plain land occupied by grasses soil is very rich in nutrients and organic matter since it has tall grass it is ideal place for grazing animals and it is characterized by low or even uneven rainfall the components of the grasslands are abiotic components these are the nutrients present in soil and the aerial environment thus the elements like carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen phosphorus and sulfur etc are supplied by carbon dioxide water nitrates phosphates and sulfates etc present in air and soil of the area moreover in addition to the above some trace elements are also present in soil biotic component these may be characterized as producers among the producers the mainly the grasses are species of dicanthium cynodon desmodium digitaria dactyl octanium citeria sporobolus etc besides them a few shrubs also contribute to primary production then comes the consumers which can be divided into primary secondary and tertiary consumers among the primary consumers the herbivores feeding on grasses are mainly such as grazing animals such as cows buffaloes deers sheep rabbit mouse etc besides them there are also present some insects some termites and millipedes also that feed on the leaves of grasses then among the secondary consumers these are the carnivores feeding on herbivores these include the animals like fox jackals snakes frogs lizards birds etc sometimes the hawk feed on the secondary consumers thus occupying tertiary consumer level in the food chain 
then comes the decomposers the microbes active in the decay of dead organic matter of different forms of higher life are fungi such as species of mucor aspergillus penicillium rhizopus fusarium etc and some bacteria and actinomycetes they bring about the minerals back to the soil thus making them available to the producers here you can see a food chain in a grassland ecosystem this illustration shows a grassland food web then coming to the desert ecosystems deserts occupy about 17% of land occurring in the regions with an annual rainfall of less than 25 cm the species composition of such ecosystem is much more varied and typical due to extremes of both temperature and water factors based on the climatic conditions the deserts are classified into three types tropical deserts temperate deserts and cold deserts tropical deserts are found in africa the example being sahara desert and rajasthan that is our thar desert they are characterized by only few species wind blow and sand dunes are very common among the temperate zone deserts the example is of south california mazavi desert these are characterized by very hot summer and very winter cold winters then the cold deserts the example is found in gobi desert of china they are characterized by cold winters and warm summers the desert is is dry and the climate is very hot the annual rainfall is less than 25 cm the soil is very rich very sorry the soil is very poor in nutrients and organic matter and the vegetation too is very poor the structural components of desert are the abiotic components and the biotic components among the abiotic components temperature rainfall sunlight water etc they are the main constituents the temperature is very high and rainfall is very low the nutrient cycling is also very low among the biotic compo components first are the producers these are shrubs especially bushes some grasses and a few trees the shrubs have widespread branched root system with their stems and branches variously modified sometimes a few succulents like cacti are also present some lower plants like lichens and xerophytic mosses may also be present in the deserts then coming to consumers the most common animals are reptiles and insects which are able to live under xeric conditions in addition to them there are also found some nocturnal rodents and birds the ship of the desert camels feed on tender shoots of the plants then the decomposers these are very few as due to poor vegetation the amount of dead organic matter is correspondingly less they are some fungi and bacteria most of which are thermophilic
here is evident the food chain comprising the food web in the desert ecosystem